This is Warren Buffett. Those of you who don't know, he's one of the most famous investors in the world, and his current net worth is $143 billion. He's been rated by Forbes as the richest man in the world for several years. Some say he's the greatest investor of all time. But ironically, he hasn't had the greatest returns of all time. You see, Warren Buffett knows something that most people do not. And if it's how to make $143 billion, do not worry, you're not alone. You see, a simple look at Warren Buffett's life, and it really starts to hit home the old saying, time is money. Warren's returns may not be the best in the business, but he's been playing the game for a very, very long time. So there is no doubt Warren was a very special kid, and he bought his first stock at age 11. This was in 1941 for $38. He kept that investing and by age 20 he had $20,000. Now this doesn't seem like an exceptional amount. But Warren stayed consistent and by age 30 he'd made his first $1 million. And it was actually at age 56 that Warren became a billionaire crossing the $1 billion threshold. And by age 66 Warren had $17 billion. So let that sink in for a second. It took 56 years to make $1 billion for a guy who knew what he was doing and started young and in the next 10 years he made $16 billion. Now Warren Buffett is 93 years old and has $147 billion. So this is an interesting lesson in compounding. Warren Buffett made most of his money after he was 56 years old. So let's just preface it. It's very unlikely you're going to be Warren Buffett, but there's definitely lessons you can learn from how he made his money. And the number one thing to take away is Warren Buffett started buying assets early. For those of you that don't know, I'll try to go real simple. Assets are basically things that generate you money. Liabilities, on the other hand, are things that cost you money. Trust me, there are always more liabilities out there, but most people make the mistakes of not buying assets. Warren started at 11 years old, spending $38. Not a huge amount. I mean, a lot more than I had at 11 years old, but again, not a huge amount of money. And there's a key thing to notice here. I always hear people say comments online or ask, if I had $10,000, what would I invest it in? I'm 30 years old. No one's ever given me $10,000 yet. It's not a realistic situation and a payday like that does not come around often. Yet so many people have managed to accumulate huge portfolios of wealth without ever getting a $10,000 payday. Why is this? It's because when people get into the habit of buying assets, they accumulate them over time. And over time, the amount compounds to be far greater than you could even imagine. So the aim should not be, how can I invest $10,000? But the aim should be, how can I continually invest so that I have over $10,000? And anyone who understands money knows that it's a behavioral change that's required to create a financial change. The number one habit to get rich is to buy assets continuously. The easiest way to do it is to buy them the minute you get paid. If you invest an amount of your paycheck, every single time you get paid, you will accumulate assets. Like I said earlier, you will always find new liabilities to spend your money on. But those who manage to generate huge amounts of wealth buy assets continuously and consistently over time. When you get into this mindset, you start to focus on buying things which will buy you more money rather than buying things that will cost you money. And when your money buys money over time, the amount of money you end up with is far greater than any salary can ever pay you. Don't spend all your money buying companies' products. Buy the company and make money when they sell the products. This will become contagious. Do you ever wonder, does a footballer just look at his bank balance all the time? Could do. I've never had enough money to know. 
But I do know that people who start building up massive portfolios become obsessed with their number. Why? Because the progress they start to see is transformational to their life. They start to earn more money while sleeping than most people earn working their entire life. And though it won't happen overnight, this is achievable for everyone. And all you need to do is start buying assets and stop spending on liabilities. It may sound simple, but it's the most powerful piece of advice out there. If you don't know anything about stocks, buy the S&P 500 and buy it through thick and thin, as Warren would say, especially through thin. And over time, this will start to amount into huge amounts of wealth that you couldn't even fathom. And if you're interested in stuff outside the S&P 500, please feel free to keep watching the channel. I go through my portfolio, I show how I invest my money, and I keep up with trends so that you don't have to. If this is good content, please like and subscribe. Feel free to let me in the comments below if you would like to see some stock analysis or other tips on how to invest in the market.